just quickly, this video isn't to say that I've figured it out or anything. It's more along the lines of me having a journey and sharing it with you guys. Okay, on with the video. Hey guys, after drawing traditional for a while, I've moved to digital and needed a line drawing style slash process. And I didn't jump straight to Ahmed Adouri. I made this document of these other line artists that I could potentially copy. Um, so there's T.B. Choi, Evan Admundsen, Tobias Kwan, or Ahmed Adouri, Q. Fang, and Hicham Habji. So after drawing traditionally, these were the first digital drawings I was starting with. Okay, so it's not super beginner drawings. I've definitely drawn on the computer a lot before. Um, but this is just the, base the baseline that I started with before making this journey. And when I saw these drawings, I knew that I didn't want to reinvent the wheel and find my own style for lines. And so it's time to look elsewhere. <laughs> So I'm a huge fan of TB Choi, and so I'd go to an art station, find an image I like, and then try copy it. But the process that leads here seems to be the normal draw the rough, put a low opacity, do another layer, which is cool and I'm definitely doing this in future, but as I was learning I just wanted to do everything in one pass. So I also really like Evan's stuff. I like how it's a little bit more gritty and this yellow is kind of interesting too. So I copied the yellow and did some more drawings. In my first week of doing these digital drawings, this is what I did. And when I got critiqued, thanks to Will Weston, he noticed I could work on my hands. And uh, yeah, I could definitely work on my hands. So I worked on my hands traditionally first because I'm a good boy and I feel like there's something nice about it being real. So in doing hands I come across this video and I really like these hands, these hands are cool. And look, um, it even shows how to do the hands and what brush to use. So I draw the same subject with the same brush and the only variable is me. I put myself on the left with Ahmed's stuff on the right, and I just try bring it up to the same level. I mean, I don't expect myself to get to the same level. Ahmed's been at this for a long, long time, but nonetheless, I think it's very helpful. I think at this point of the game, it might be relevant to talk about fear. And when trying to get better, I think it's perfectly normal um, to be afraid to do more drawings or to do any drawings. The way I get over this is by using a Tabata timer or interval timer. So in general, I'm just always using a timer when I draw. It makes, uh, it takes away time as a variable when you compare results, <laughs> I know. But the issue about using a normal timer is that sometimes it takes too long for me to start a new timer after the old timer has finished. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it, it happens. So in this case, this timer has finished and then I stop it. And if I don't have a timer that starts straight away, I might walk away from the computer. I might get a drink. I might talk to someone. I might go on Discord and there's so many things I might do. But if, if I use a Tabata timer, once the timer has finished or I click next, there's only 20 seconds of rest time before the next timer starts. I'm straight away put in flow state. I have to get the reference in the 20 seconds and I have to finish the next drawing in 20 minutes. And it's a cycle. So when I go from drawing hands to drawing figures, there's only the reference, the timer, the stylus and me. And I'm going for it because the time is ticking and I gotta draw now if I wanna finish before the timer runs out. Okay, so I know it sounds stressful, but it beats fear paralysis, and that's the point. Alright, at this point, there's really nothing to it. Just draw the figure, keep, keep drawing the figure, and uh, if, if I feel something's bad, just keep drawing the figure. Because <laughs> I can draw traditionally, it's all about just bringing me up to speed digitally. And when Will Weston saw these, he told me to not flatten out my lights so much and to add a little bit more indication of bones. And so, you guessed it, more figures. Except this time, I'm adding a little bit more contour, 
little bit of cross hatching, going a little bit darker. But essentially at this point, I don't think the random artist is gonna be like, hey, you can't draw a human. Your figures suck really bad. And as my tastes are now, digitally, this is good enough for me. So that was my journey in going from here to here. And I hope that was of some value to you. Uh, let me know in the comments if that helped you out. Um, but really, uh, good luck on your own journey to, to like getting better. Um, I know you're already awesome, but if you're trying to get better, I know you can get even better. In addition, I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. Peace.